Ice on the wrist, uh, uh, car on the wrist, uh, uh, all on the wrist, uh, uh, watch out flip, uh, uh, watch out whip, uh, uh, I'm in the whip, uh, uh, all on the wrist, uh, uh, I never switch, uh, uh, ice on the wrist, uh, uh, car on the wrist, uh, uh, all on the wrist, uh, uh, watch out flip, uh, watch out whip, uh, uh, I'm in the whip, uh, uh, all on the wrist, uh, uh, I never switch, uh, uh, ice on the wrist, uh, uh, I get the money but I never switch. They say you switch it, you won't get it. You know they came from the bottom and now we is lit. You was lit. I got to get it, I got to get it. You hate because I... Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. So with that, let's head over to the heart of Texas, massive AT&T Stadium in Arlington. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Forbath now to get us started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. He didn't have as many throws or plays in college as many of the quarterbacks that were coming out in the draft, but he maximized what he had. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback at North Dakota State. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's the offense, and sometimes you got to show love to the big guys. That you do. We're talking about Jason Kelsey now, not Travis, his brother who plays tight end. Jason lines up at center, a threat to go to the Pro Bowl each and every year. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Wentz going to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Shotgun now for Wentz. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a big 32-yard play on third. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. This is Jackson on the quick throw from Wentz. Pass 
past the 20. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Well, how about the passing numbers so far on this first drive? Oh, no doubt about it. They're flinging it around pretty successfully. And look at the start. The confidence level that we see in him rising because he's hit a few early. And how about the last one? The big shot right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. And that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. It's caught by Aguilar. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The reception good for 7. It's third down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Strip that ball. Wins to throw again toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Jordan Lewis right there on the coverage. As my dad used to tell me all the time when you're going ready to play a big-time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting, better strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. So on comes the eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So here are the Cowboys under head coach Jason Garrett as they get set for their first opportunity. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And the offensive starters for Dallas. I can't help but chuckle a little bit every time I think about Zach Martin and the controversy, air quotes there, about him being picked by the Cowboys because many thought that another player was going to be picked in that spot, but they made the right call in getting Zach Martin. Versatile player, played guard and tackle in college, and uses that versatility to his great advantage in the NFL. Immediately was an all-pro and continues to play to that level. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. And the defense now for the Eagles. Fletcher Cox is a first-round pick who has fulfilled his promise. One of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. Go, go. 
check, check, 47. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 26. 26. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So the Cowboys will punt it on fourth down as on as the veteran Chris Jones to kick it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And he will lose yardage on the play back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. All day, dog. <laughs> to the outside, this is complete to Jackson. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. From the gun on third down, wins. And he connects with Ertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Wentz now on first down. Completes it to Aguilar. And he's got this down to the 35. We got this. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Wentz now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. On the toss play, Howard. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Out of the gun, this is Howard. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. The tackle made by Jalen Smith. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. From the gun, it's Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. 
And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Wentz is going to lead his guys up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now Wentz. This is caught. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second and goal from the one. I got you. I got you. <laughs> to throw, it's Wentz. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Jake on for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. A 10-play drive that time, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and it's incomplete. Nigel Bradham, the linebacker, right there on the coverage. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Prescott from the gun. Cooper's got it. 
And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Elliott. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I think he gets a mulligan there carrying the ball because he had no shot, and that's why it went backwards. I still remember in the summer we were at one of the training camps. You were marveling about how much those defensive tackles eat. I think he just inhaled a running back on that play. On second down, Elliott. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott, sliding out of the pocket. He can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Well, he was looking at a dime formation, six defensive backs on the field, so he's looking for anyone, anyone to throw the football to, but he didn't have anyone open, so he took off and ran for it, but he came up just short, and that brings up fourth down. And Forbath will put this one through, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Forbath now to kick it away after the main field goal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now back onto the field. Here comes the Cowboys' defense. And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. <laughs> I saw you take a running start at that blocking sled. You took it down. <laughs> Bounced off like a rubber band. No, no, not at all. But you're exactly right. They are doing their job, but they want to add takeaways to it. You need to have more of those to go along with the big hits we're seeing. By the way, when I tried that and I bounced back, I noticed that you laughed with everyone else. You did <laughs> You didn't try to get in my corner. No, no, no. Someone had just told me a joke on the other yeah, side. Right, I missed right. that. Totally missed it. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offensive backfield. And there it works for a tackle for loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Running with Howard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. I enjoyed watching Robert Quinn in pregame warm-ups with you down on the field. Did it surprise you how tall and angular he is? You wouldn't think he'd be able to play against the run that well, would you? But he can, and he showed it right there, didn't he? That's that wrestling background he has. He understands leverage as well as anyone in the game. A big-time wrestler in high school. He didn't lose very often. Three-time heavyweight state champ in South Carolina. On third and long, it's Wins. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. 
Wentz able to hook up with Aguilar for a big gain, 64 yards. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them with defenders jostling them in order to keep their concentration and haul it in. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw is Wentz. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Wentz to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Got a man open. It hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And he's such a talented tight end, just creates nightmarish tight matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him with faint praise, aren't we? Because he can do it all. He's as good as any receiver in the NFL. Well, that's the deal. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body, a matchup nightmare, and who's going to cover him? When I sit in the film session, I just look at the coach and say, really? Really? You're going to yell at me? You go cover him. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is now 17-3. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Maybe you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Check right 47. 
Washington. From the 44, Prescott out to his left. He'll run it, give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On first down, it's Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and six. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now Prescott. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. He lost two and it brings up fourth. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. From the 22, here's second and eight. They run with Howard. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Let's go. Ten Let's yards go. there and an eagle first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, Sometimes a thing of beauty. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. Throwing now is Wentz. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Wentz now, 13 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. They go counter with Howard. Howard has the first down and then some. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. 
Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. Now Howard. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Okay, just like that. Just like that. Jack! It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 28. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. The Eagles on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This time they face a third and two. Now Wentz on the bootleg. He finds Howard complete. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. A 47 yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. We play to win. Let's go. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. A gain of six there on first. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. On second down now, it's Elliott. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. down. Elliott. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. 
Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. All day. What do you think? Every day. Any day. What do you think? On second down, it's Elliott. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw is Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Mike, Mike, I got you, punk. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Bring it. Bring it. On second down, it's Pollard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. Prescott now. They'll roll him out right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. This is Elliott. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Well, I don't have to stretch for this one. This is four down territory. They've got to get it in with the deficit that they're facing. Absolutely. It's not the fourth quarter, but still, you, I think you, you can't be thinking three here. No, if you do that, you might as well go ahead and fold up on this one, but I don't think they're built like that. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in, and the Cowboys cut into that lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, Beats good tackling on that play. and result, touchdown. Kai Forbath on for the extra point. It's up. It's good. That'll make the score line 20 to 10. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott.
have to send it away now following the touchdown. This one taken from the seven. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Carson Wentz, along with his offense, heading back out there for their next possession. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. On second and nine, Wentz looking middle, and it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and nine. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Aguilar has it. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From midfield, here's Wentz. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, they run with Howard. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. The Eagles on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This will be third and six. Wentz going to throw. This is caught by Jackson. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. on the give here as they try the run pass option. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Woo! 
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And Eagle first down wins to Ertz. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Again, it's Wentz. The quick slant caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Carson Wentz with two first half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That score was not a game clincher by any stretch of the imagination. But the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Amari Cooper and the Cowboys set to take over once again. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. 47 is the mic, boys. 47. Check, check. Third and short yardage. Prescott looking deep in the direction of... And that's caught inside the 35. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott. 
completes it to Jason Witten. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The completion good for three, and it's second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Prescott yet again. It's caught. Cooper. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 37. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. It's accelerating, and off he goes. He's at the 30, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. 
And that's caught at the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 30 yards. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. We got this. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Prescott. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Prescott now, 12 of 15 throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. Here's Elliott. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. They go to Elliott again. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 42. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with a draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. And an eagle first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wins. He's got a first down and then some at midfield as they finally wrangle him in at the 48. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. On first down. Howard, and he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. He was brought down by Malik Collins. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a good day. Again, it's Howard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. now on first down and the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete he was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time and that'll bring up second down but there was no trace of nervousness there he was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position stay in excellent coverage and bat the ball away they'll try again from the 36 on second and 10 a give to Howard and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. 
Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. safety valve here that's complete and he'll go down here at the 12 yard line it's a four yard pickup and that'll make this a second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six now a play fake Wentz Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. He's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very yeah, well. You don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just not, kind of a jab in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. Wentz now to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. Taking it in from a yard out as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cowboys' offense heads back onto the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Draw play, Elliott. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Mike, Mike. That's what I do. 
Again, it's Elliott. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Check, 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 check. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Prescott now, 13 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott, this to Jarwin. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Throwing. Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Prescott from the gun on third. Caught by Kyle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me. <laughs> Trying to get to the airport. That's the roads to be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Though so they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. This is Howard on second down. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here we go, Pac Man. 185 to Mike. Here we go, here we go. Now Wentz on third down, and he connects with Ertz. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Oh, 
Wentz now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. This short throw caught by Goddard. The completion good for three and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. You can't block me. You can't block me. Throwing his wins. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. You got nothing. Running from the gun with Howard. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second down and four, Wentz. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. <laughs> I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work on a little bit more. To throw, it's Wentz. Ertz over the middle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Don't let him breathe. Don't let him breathe. Play that tight D. Don't let him breathe, defense. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Watch twins. Watch twins. Wentz going to throw. Buying time. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Robert Quinn showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end. And that's exactly what he did. So after the sack here, second and 14. Check right, check right. Play action. Now wins. And he's going to go down again. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. He's not going to get me. The give to Howard running left. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down.
Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be from 56 yards out. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Prescott got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Prescott from the gun. That's complete to Kyle. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Eagles have recovered. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Jordan Howard and the rest of the offense heading back out there. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence. If you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases. You know, find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Go, go. Let's go, baby. Let's turn over. Let's get that ball. Let's get that ball. They'll run on first down. It's Howard. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned. And he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They go with Howard again. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Check. 
here we go. Delaney! 54 to Mike. Watch the curl. Watch the curls. On second and 11 now. Wentz. It's caught by Aguilar. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. offense heading back out and ready to go again and last time the turnover on the fumble and they were in enemy territory so that had to be very frustrating down on the scoreboard here can't do it again you nailed every part of what was frustrating <laughs> down on the scoreboard had a drive going had pushed it past the 50 yard line so they felt they were in striking distance and to come away with nothing not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that Defense. bad taste out of their mouth here? So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Prescott now. He's got the connection to Cooper. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Here's Prescott, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Come on. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's a five-yard pickup, but spotted a few chain links short of the first, so a little bit of decision time here coming up on fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Forbath will put this one through, 
And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Format now to kick it away after the made field goal. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The outcome of this one... Well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. And no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Such a valuable commodity to have a tight end who can run and get open. How about what he just did there? Worked his way from right to left across the field and found his way free. Go, go. Listen. 180. Watch 54. Watch 54. Let's go, D. Listen. On first down. It's Howard. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Watch the pass, watch the pass. They'll keep it on the ground. Howard, they're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. He lost two there, and it's third down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Play action. It's Wentz. And this is caught by Jackson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Running with Howard, and an alley to run. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate.
Watch your son. On first, they go right back to Howard. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. On second and seven, Wentz. And he's going to keep it here. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Come get some. Come get some. Come out here. Come get some. He don't want it. Wait, no. Shotgun now for Wentz. Aguilar has it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. On second down now, it's Howard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone, the ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They'll keep it on the ground. It's Howard, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And three yards on the carry there as his defense holds strong and takes it to fourth and goal. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? To the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Amari Cooper and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game.
four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Prescott completes it to Jason Witten. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Two ticks left. TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Big D.